6, 53 right now on your Friday morning. Let's take a look at some of the stories that we're following as you head out the door. And we began with Rodney Ross. In the last 10 minutes, a tow truck arrived to remove a car off the train tracks at Stanwood in Moores Mill Road. Now, earlier this morning, that car hit a train as it was going across the tracks. The southbound lanes of traffic are now flowing uh, as normal. And as soon as that car is removed off the tracks, the northbound lanes will be reopened as well. There were no injuries in this crash. Pat. This morning, Jackson County officials are looking for this man you see right there. Authorities say Jericho Tidwell walked away from his release site, in Jackson County, on Wednesday. Authorities made an arrest in the case yesterday. They say Richard Hill harbored Tidwell at his home. This morning, we're one step closer to seeing Huntsville's own state of the art library. Crews will break ground in a brand new library in South Huntsville this January. After a $9.2 million construction contract was approved at last night's council meeting, the entire project will cost $11 million. Two million of that is from donations from the Huntsville Library Foundation. The new library will be built where old Grissom High School once stood. It's set to open in 2021. The driver license examining office in Sheffield will be open this Saturday for the first time. The new hours are part of a program across the state to better meet customers' needs. Customers will be assisted on a first-come, first-served basis for several services, including star IDs and road tests. This week, the Decatur office began its extended hours from 7.30 a.m. to 4.45 in the afternoon. And one Lincoln County road is closed this morning for repairs. Molino Road is closed near the John Campbell intersection. Crews are working to repair the damage from a landslide back in February. The road is expected to be closed for three to four weeks. The project will cost around $350,000.